All right, so let's go ahead and start creating that navigation bar uh, with uh, a drop down list as well as a sub menus. So let's create a project in base code. And I'm going to name this nav bar two because we already have created the nav bar before, but it was a simple one. So this one have a, a drop down list as well as a sub menus. So let's go ahead and create our uh, index.html file and our uh, styles that CSS. And by the way, we're going to add like a 3D uh, asset at the background. So we're going to be needing this just in case uh, you don't have an account yet. Just sign up and uh, and aside from this, we're going to be using uh, uh, a custom fonts from Google as well. So let's go back to base code and uh, in index.html, let's create our uh, uh, HTML template and link our styles that says as over here. And of course, this is just going to be a nav and normally a nav we're going to be using uh, unordered list and the uh, list items over here. So uh, our list should be, hold on, uh, we're going to place here an anchor tag, right? So for example, this is our first item in our menu and we can copy that at least like three more times. All right, so you can come up with your own uh, list here as well if you want to. So anyway, I'm going to right click here and open with live server uh, so we can preview the project. Hold on, let me just separate this. So this is going to be our main menu, okay? So we can go ahead and style that right now. Uh, for example, we can target this unordered list over here and we can change the styling uh, list style none in order to remove uh, th those uh, disk or uh, bullets. Uh, we can uh, arrange them like in one row by targeting the list elements uh, themselves and we can set the display to inline block because by default they are a block level element but we want them to be in this uh, arrangement and uh, uh, we can go ahead and add now the sub menu or the drop down so for example if we are going to hover on games we will have a drop down list for uh, a variety of games so we can copy this an ordered list so make sure to place your cursor over here before the li closing tag right uh, press enter twice and then and control v over here to paste so all we have to do is to change this uh, uh, information right over here so for example here we have uh, action type of games all right so for now uh, we will just go ahead and style this okay later on we will add a sub menu so we will focus first on creating the drop down list when we hover over to for example games uh, if you want, we can add also something like this on the help and support. And maybe we can type some information as well. Uh, for example, something like this. And this one is, uh, let's say, customer service. Okay, remove this. So a universal uh, selector right here. And we're going to set the all margins to zero. And then padding to zero and then box sizing to border box all right so we are also going to add the uh, default font for our project and that is going to be uh, coming from google fonts so just head over to fonts.google.com and you will be presented with this uh, list of fonts and we're going to be looking for a specific font called uh, roboto all right the press enter to search and this is the one that we're looking for Click on that and all we have to do is click this button over here, uh, get font and then get embed the code. Click on that and click this import uh, radio button over here and click copy this code right here. And we're going to place this in our CSS file. When we paste that, we have to remove this uh, opening and closing uh, style tag. And if, we, if I'm going to press Alt Z on the keyboard, uh, we see that the font name is over here. Uh, to apply that into our project, we are going to use the property font family and uh, we can select here uh, Arial if you want to, so like a backup font, right? Uh, so for example, if this Roboto is not going to work, uh, it will be replaced by Arial. If Arial is not going to work, it will be replaced by the succeeding fonts. 
So if we're going to uh, save this, uh, uh, we will be able to see that, that our font is already uh, changed, as you can see right over here. All right, so let's go ahead and target uh, the uh, anchor tags over here inside the list tag. Okay, so we can set display and then uh, inline block because by default, uh, anchor tags are inline element. If we are going to set some padding and margin, the top and bottom is not going to work. So, make, so we want to make sure to set this one as inline black, all the anchor tags. So we are going to remove that underline over there. That is going to be decoration or text decoration. Set that to none. And all of the underline has been removed. And we are also going to change the color to white. Because in the body, uh, maybe over here, let's target the body. We are going to set the background to... Uh, uh, hashtag 2424 or a dark gray, like so. Uh, I'm going to set the font size to uh, 1.2 rem. Okay, so 1.2 rem. Let's have some padding of 10 pixels and then margin of 2 pixels. And if we are going to hover on anchor tags, we can type here A and then hover. And we want to change the color into something like this. So I prepared this color that's a hex value of sharp sign F349BD. Uh, it's kind of like a purple uh, color. All right, so after this, let's head back to index.html. Uh, the UL class over here, we're going to uh, add a class attribute of uh, nav items. So we can easily identify this and target that in CSS. Uh, for the nav items, we are going to set the height of uh, 70 pixels. So uh, if if uh, we are going to ch uh, to place here a like a second like a uh, temporary color only, all right, uh, so that we will see w where is that element that we are trying to uh, uh, style. So for now, I'll set that to green. So as you can see, this is the uh, element that we are currently working on. Uh, this UL tag over here. So uh, that's only a temporary color. We are going to remove that later on. So we are going to set the display to flex because we are going to center uh, these elements over here, uh, at least vertically by using the align item center. All right, so after this, we are going to target the uh, uh, this run right over here, this uh, list. Uh, so we're going to add a class here of drop down. So we can go ahead and copy this and target this in CSS. Uh, so uh, at the start, this should be hidden. So we can go ahead and set the display to none. And as you can see, we don't have those uh, uh, items already under the games. We're going to be doing the same thing with, the, uh, uh, with this one over here. Uh, this list are under the help and support. So we are going to head back over here in our index.html and we are going to use the same class over here. Just copy and paste and save. Now they're gone. So uh, later on, we are going to use hover that if we are going to hover these items here, we are going to set the display to block in order to display them. So it's going to be the li under the nav items, if we are going to hover on them, we are going to target the drop down. We are going to set the display to block. So let's go ahead and test that out. If we hover over here, as you can see, it does display after hovering, uh, but we still have to format them, right? So for now, we can temporarily set that to black and we are going to target this uh, unordered list with the class of drop down. We can go ahead and style that. So we can go ahead and say, so we are going to use the uh, position absolute. Uh, remember that the drop down uh, class is residing inside an li tag. So the, the uh, position absolute is not going to work if we are not going to set the list items into a position uh, relative. And there you have it, as you can see. So without uh, this, without position relative from, the, from its parent, uh, without specifying the parent to relative, the position absolute is not going to work. And now we have those already. Uh, since we already have declared a position attribute, 
we will be able to set the value of top uh, we can try 40 pixels and uh, just to make it closer to to the uh, uh, items over here you can set that to 10 as you can see it's closer so maybe around 30 uh, maybe 40 was fine okay all right so now that we have done that the drop down we are now going to style the list over here so we are going to say drop down and then we're going to target the list so later on we're going to have something like this uh, for example uh, we can copy this and under the action we can have like like another layer or another level of menu or we can call this the sub menu like we have more categories for action right and here we can come up for the meantime i'll just type here link one uh, and so on and so forth okay let me just go ahead and complete this one all right so after this we are going to target this one to direct children not this list over here okay so that means we're going to be using this as a reference so we can copy that okay and uh, if we're going to use this all of the list including this one right here will be targeted we want only the direct children so we can use the uh, uh, this operator right over here the greater than operator so this position is going to be relative as well and uh, for the meantime just a temporary background color of aquamarine and we're going to change that later on maybe let's change something darker let's just set the width to 190 pixels and now let's go ahead and style the sub menu so let's copy this one over here all right and we're going to say sub menu and we are going to uh, all the position is also going to be absolute and uh, let's set the background temporary back background color for now uh, just to see what's happening uh, maybe something like yellow okay so let's set the top value for now just uh, uh, let's just type one for now so we can see them and uh, temporarily uh, let's also add a z index because right now we don't see it because it's at the back uh, let's set a z index value of one so we can see that we have it over there so these are just temporary we are going we're going to remove them later on so that's for the sub menu uh, we want the sub menu to be at the uh, uh, at the uh, right side of its parent remember that the sub menu its parent element is this action over here so we are going to place this somewhere over here so what we can do is uh, add a property of left and remember that the width of our of its parent is 190 pixels so we are going to place this right next to it by saying 191 pixels over here and there you have it so this is the width 190 pixels from this point to this point and uh, the 191 pixels position left of absolute is right over here uh, we can also set the width to 190 pixels for sub menu uh, so we have a uniform width for our uh, menu like so so right now that we have it's like uh, at least uh, more or less a working style for the sub menu and drop down we can now go ahead and uh, uh, set the display to none and also for the sub menu so over here with the sub menu we can also set the display to none as well all right so now if we are going to hover over to the games as you can see uh, because of this uh, we are able to uh, display this drop down list and we can do the same thing with the sub menu so instead of nav items uh, what we can do now is when we hover over to the drop down okay this one over here when we hover over to this so therefore we can copy this one when we hover over to the list items that are under the drop down uh, class we are going to display the sub menu okay set the display to block let's save that let's hover over to games to the ike actions and as you can see uh, the list over here uh, now displays but uh, we want this uh, uh, to be located over here okay so we can set the top property of the sub menu uh, to around uh, maybe there you have it so we have link one two three and four and we are going to style this also in a similar way with the 
uh, drop down list okay uh, because as you can see the arrangement is from here link one two three and four we want that to be in uh, like a column so we can target that so sub menu we are going to target the uh, uh, li elements so we are going to set the position to relative and then the width we are going to set that to around uh, 190 uh, uh, pixels as well okay there you go and then we can set uh, you know what let's go ahead and display that first uh, temporarily where is it sub menu okay where is it there it is let's set that to black for the meantime as well as the uh, drop down there you go all right so with 190 pixels and let's now try to set the background color to the one that we want, uh, RGBA. Uh, it's going to be zero uh, for black, right? And the alpha value for transparency is 0 0.2. And we can now delete this one, okay? As you can see, it's right there at the back. And we can now place uh, or set that back again to none and also the drop down. Okay, let's test this one. Games, action, now we have this. So we can also copy this background. Uh, hold on, let me, let's finish this one first. Let's add now some uh, extra styling for the box shadow. One pixels, two pixels, uh, eight pixels blur. And this is going to be uh, white, so 255, uh, 255. And the opacity is going to be 0 0.1. Uh, let's see that there it is so we can copy this and we can do that to the list over here as well there you go so uh, if you want we can now go ahead and copy this so after copying maybe we can go ahead and uh, uh, set that to let's try plat platform over here uh, place our cursor uh, before the closing list tag and paste the uh, code and now let's go ahead and hover over here now we have those lists and we can improve this uh, list by setting some margin so uh, let's go let's go ahead and do that first with the uh, drop down here uh, let's set some padding around five pixels okay and the margin of around uh, let's try one and we can copy this as well oops just copy and do the same thing with the uh, uh, sub menu. All right, so save our work and we should have something like this right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy this uh, box shadow as well. Uh, we can head over back to the nav items and we can now remove this background color. And now we have something like that and place the uh, uh, box shadow over here in order to have this uh, subtle uh, effect over here. So let's hover over to games and think we're good, uh, platform, and, and now we have that. And you will notice also that there's like a slight uh, uh, misalignment over here uh, with this uh, line. I don't know if you can see that on your end. Let me just zoom in uh, so you can see better. So we will try to adjust this in CSS. To uh, we can set some margin and to move that a little bit upward okay for the sub menu so let's go back to VS code and let's look for the sub menu uh, maybe we are going to set some uh, top over here so we already have top so one instead of one pixels let's try negative one to move it a little bit upward there you go i think that's perfect and uh, let's play around with our uh, uh, index.html element i'm going to play some uh, all right hold on let me just copy this i accidentally deleted the one that was over here okay okay so let's try to copy this also under like uh, the third person uh, just an example just to make sure it's going to work okay so for games uh, we have those links let's try to uh add two more items so six over here and then seven and uh so six seven eight and nine and over here 
let's also try add to add two six and seven items all right so save this and let's hover over to games for actions we have these links arcade we didn't uh, add something and for third person we do have like a very long list from one to nine okay and platform as well all right so there you have it right now all we have to do is add some uh, uh, the 3d background uh, after you sign up uh, once you logged in uh, head over to the community tab over here and we're going to be looking for i think this is the one that we need so let's wait for this for a couple of seconds and there you have it once you're here click this remix button and once you are here in this interface click on export and uh, select the uh, play settings we want to make sure that the background color here is enabled or show and after doing that click uh, this viewer over here and then uh, let's wait for the uh, loading uh, it will just take a few seconds like so and click this link and hit back to VS code and paste that over here and save our work and we're going to target this uh, tag spline viewer and we're just going to place it here at the bottom and if you have watched my previous tutorial we will just basically place this as a background uh, with our project okay so right now it's not displaying yet uh, all we have to do is set the position to fixed and the top position to zero uh, left to zero as well with the 100 view width uh, make sure we have a colon over here and height of course we want to make sure that it is also 100 view height to take up the entire screen and we are going to use z index to place this at the back by using a value negative one so save this and let's head over back to our project and there you have it as you can see so if you want to re remove this one by the way this button uh, uh this is actually the one that you have to click in spline and once it is selected as you can see uh, there are some indicators that it is currently selected just press the delete key on the keyboard uh, click again on export and then update viewer uh, once this loading is complete uh, let's wait for that one uh, there you go and all we have to do is that is, is just refresh our page and that button uh, it's not anymore going to appear in our project and there you have it so let's go ahead and hover over as you can see the robot it's uh it's moving uh into where our cursor is following the movement of our cursor so there you have it guys i hope that you like this uh, project and see you in the next one